In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four options with globe design here. You can see here I've created this kind of an atlas or a globe where I've put a different colors, right? Then I put step one with the icon and you can add the step one, the title and the detail text, then the step two, three and four. And I've added some shadow effect at the bottom. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. If you're using the older version like 2007 or 2010, then some features may not be available. So I highly recommend you to use the latest version of PowerPoint. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to select the oval shape, draw the oval shape by holding the shift key. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease the size. Then shape outline, make it no outline, then align, center, align, middle. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this uh, oval shape into smaller parts. For that, go to Insert Shapes, select the rectangle, draw a rectangle, small size, shape outline, no outline, shape fill, you can give any other color. And make sure that again, this is align center and align middle. All right. And then I'm going to cut it horizontally also press ctrl d to duplicate this rotate i can rotate right 90 degrees i'm going to put this one in the center exactly here or you can just make it align center also and press ctrl shift key together and just add one at the top and again select this ctrl shift key and add at the bottom also make sure that the equal spacing has to be there now i want to cut it uh, vertically two more but i don't want to cut straight line i want to curve uh, cut a curved line for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate the slide or i'm going to make a new slide all right and then i'm going to copy this you can see here Control c bring it here then i'm going to add one more press ctrl d give some other color and right mouse click go to format shape go to fill and make it somewhat transparent and i'm going to increase the size you can see here like this and i'm going to keep it here and i'm going to duplicate this one more time and this one let me just give some other color why i'm doing that one so that you know exactly what i'm trying to do this okay let me just send this to back and you can see this yellow one only the part which is yellow only that part only i want to keep it so maybe this much size you can see here like this so now first of all so i've created three oval shapes you can see a blue uh, yellow and this color so now first let me just select blue color hold the shift key select the yellow color merge shape you can see here i am intersect this one then i'm selecting this hold shift key this one and i'm clicking the subtract so i end up getting a shape something like this press ctrl c to copy bring it here ctrl v let me just give some other color so you can see here i'm just going to cut like this if you want you can just increase the size a little bit also okay and here also i'm going to duplicate rotate and i'm going to say flip horizontal bring the other side and leave it like this now once done i'm going to select all or you can press ctrl a also to select all go to format merge shape and say fragment the moment you fragment it comes something like this then i'm just selecting from the center you can see here press the delete button and again from here delete button you can see here i can just delete like this so all unwanted things i'm just getting rid of and here also this and this also sorry let me just delete this part 
delete this delete this and delete this so you can see here we end up getting a shape something like this and then depending on your requirement you can fill the color so i said depending on your color requirement you can fill this one so i'm just going to select this one you can see here colors i can use any color of my choice for example i want to use maybe say this uh, or I can just go to more fill colors also I can give any pattern or I can go from here also you can see a format shape fill I can choose any pattern from here some light to dark or from dark to light okay example for example I'm going to select this one then the second one this color third one more lighter fourth is more lighter than that now the second color combination maybe I'm going to choose this one you can see here so I'm just giving you an example here so depending on your requirement you can just change the color as it demands so let me just select this one then I'm going to select the second one the third one and the fourth one and then for this maybe I can choose a green lighter green and more light green all right so you can see here i have changed the color let me just remove the guides i don't want the guides and then i can just select all those things and move a little bit up okay and then go to insert shapes from the rectangles sorry from the basic shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key shape outline no outline shape fill you can give some dark gray then go to the effects 3d rotation presets i can choose any of this maybe off axis 2 and then 3d format i'm going to increase the depth here then place it at exactly at the middle here exactly in the center then i'm going to the second slide let me just delete this one okay and then i'm going to add one oval shape again all right draw the oval shape you can see here or instead of drawing the oval shape what i can do is i can just add this one also which one the circle hollow draw the circle hollow a bigger one we need make it more this one shape outline no outline align center align middle and then go to insert shapes select one rectangle and i'm going to cut only this part you can see here so now i'm going to select this and this merge shape i'm going to subtract this Control c to copy paste it here depending on your requirement i can hold the shift key and reduce the size but it is more reduced again hold the shift key increase the size a little bit and i'm going to place it again wherever you want example you want to place it towards the left side you can put in the left side here you can see here something like this all right and then i can insert one trapezoid draw the trapezoid here and drag it till here shape outline no outline shape fill you can give some dark color this also i'm going to fill with dark color so it gives you the shape of the globe now it's time to put some uh, the options and some icons here go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape shape outline no outline shape will make it black increase the transparency level made to 60 percent or more go to the soft edges increase the size here all right so i've got this the shadow effect also here and then i'm going to add one more small oval shape here at this end you can see here hold the shift key and i'm going to put it like this shape outline no outline give the same color all right now go to insert text box type step zero one 
center align or let it be left align only make it open sans or any other font make it bold i can make the step somewhat smaller and this number one i'm going to increase it all right let me just reduce it so this is my step one if you want change to white color press ctrl d to duplicate so this is my step two step three and step four you can see here so this is two this is three some problem let me just delete this step three and this is step four the only thing what i'm going to do this step four and step one i'm going to reduce the size a little bit okay so you can see here one two three and four and if you are using the latest version you can click on the icons or if you don't have the icons i have provided uh icon slide completely free you can search my channel and download the icons and then i'm randomly selecting few icons okay move it here the height and width i'm going to make it maybe 0.5 and then i'm just adding one by one the icons here okay and then you can add some detailed text also so go to insert text box you can add title here maybe again you can make it open sans 14 make it bold and then you can add detailed text add detailed text here reduce the font size and put it here all right so this is my first one press ctrl d second if you want you can just put the number also before this one so this is third and this is fourth all right so and if you like to add more shadows or different things also you can uh, do uh, for this particular design 